this is a $300 portable cryptocurrency miner that can earn you $8 a day by monitoring air quality. And today we're gonna to be talking about how much I've made after one month of mining and how this even works. Then at the end of the video, I'm gonna announce the winner of the block crate miner giveaway right back here. So make sure you stick around to the end. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what this even is or how this works, let me give you a really quick breakdown for the new people here. So this is an Atmo 2 Pro, which is an air quality sensor that monitors air quality in your area whenever it is on. Now this particular sensor is meant to be portable. It's got this little hook on the top thing, so you can put a little carabiner in there, take it with you, pair it to your phone, whenever you're on the go or whatever, so you always know the air quality around you. However, I do keep it stationary because it's just a little bit easier to make sure you're earning the max rewards daily. Now, how does it actually make money? So this pairs with the cryptocurrency that was created by a company called Planet Watch. Now, Planet Watch is a company focused on creating better air quality environments around the world and just improving the quality of the air we actually breathe. I mean, literally millions of people die each year due to poor air quality and like just pollution in the air. So it's fair to say that this is definitely a real problem that they are setting out to solve. Planet Watch is trying to help change this and get action taken towards cleaner air by paying its users like you and me, right, to host air sensors just like this one and even bigger ones, which they are then able to gather data from and sell for scientific reasons or for business purposes as well. And I love projects like this that have a real world impact. So I'm fully on board with this, similar to helium mining, right? Projects that actually have a real effect on people's day-to-day -day lives. And I'm a big believer in them because I think these are the things that have real value and will survive the test of time. Anyway, so the users are people like you and me who buy these sensors are paid out daily rewards for gathering data for Planet Watch. Now there are different types of sensors other than this that make more money because they collect more or different kind of more valuable data that a simple indoor sensor like this that just wouldn't be able to. But we're not here to talk about all those and the different data they collect yet. So we're here to talk about how much I've actually made mining planet tokens in the last month almost. So I turned on my Atmo 2 Pro and got it synced around December 8th to December 10th. Now almost a month later, I have mined about 500 planet tokens, which is actually a bit lower than it should be. It should be actually around 552 planets, but there was one day where my Wi-Fi was down. There was another day where I was having issues with the phone this is paired to because like I said, I have this always connected to a separate phone other than my iPhone iPhone, but we're not gonna go into why that is in this video either. But point of the story here is so I did miss a couple days and I did miss a few rewards. So at the time I'm recording this though, the planet token is around 38 cents, meaning in the last month or so I have made $195, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider this is only a $300 miner, which on a perfect month with the current token price makes around $270 or around $8 to $9 a day, you'll literally be in the green with this miner in less than two months. It's only only $300, that is a crazy great investment. Literally less than two months in UROI and you're back in the green. And I definitely even see the token price going above $1 here in the near future. I'm a big fan of this project and definitely see it going somewhere big. I mean, we're still so freaking early to this project. I mean, when you search up Planet Watch Mining on YouTube, there's hardly many YouTubers covering this. And if there are, they're like me or kind of, you know, the more smaller YouTubers, there's no one out there over 100K, 250K, 500K covering this project and that's how you know we're still so freaking early to the game. There's definitely a ton of room to grow here especially when those bigger YouTubers start covering this stuff. And I mean I think the market cap of this is literally less than 60 million dollars and I think they could easily reach a market cap twice, triple, or even quadruple that size within the next year to two years. But that is just my personal opinion. It's not financial advice nor a techno analysis video. But it doesn't even stop there. Like I was telling you earlier with the different sensors there's different types. Like I mentioned earlier, this one is just a type 4 sensor which earns around 23 planets a day or around 8 to $9 a day. However, the top tier sensor you can buy actually earns around $50 a day. It was around $15 to $1,800, but it is currently now around $2,400, a little bit more expensive now, but $50 a day, you're making about $1,500 a month, guys. You're going to ROI in less than two months again with that bigger miner, which is just absolutely insane say I mean, $50 a day for a miner that costs around $2,400, that seems like high, like I just said, but that is such a good investment, especially when you compare that price to something like an ASIC miner or Bitcoin miner or those gold shell miners, all those other top tier miners that can earn you around $50 a day, they cost like $10,000 plus dollars, even upwards of like $20,000 plus dollars, and they're only earning like $50 to $100 a day, and some even less than that $50 a day, but they cost 
four times as much money. It's ridiculous. This thing literally only costs $2,500 and it's making $50 a day. So I'm definitely going to get my hands on some more of these different types of sensors. So don't even worry about that. I will be covering them once I have my hands actually on the product and get real experience and actually show you them. So all in all, I think this is a crazy good project to get in on. I said this earlier, but there's still like a ton of room for this project to grow. I currently have two of these type four sensors. I have an aware element and this Atmo 2 Pro. I have four more coming soon, four more of the aware element that is, and I'm on a waiting list for type three and type two sensors. However, this is not all sunshine and rainbows. Nothing ever is, right? There's always a caveat to everything you ever get into. And the caveat with Planet Watch is that this is a type four sensor. So how this works is there's four different types of sensors, type one, type two, type three, and type four. And each sensor has a recycling bin. Now rewards are paid out to the users, people like me and you who have these sensors, they're paid out of that recycling bin. Now what can happen over time is that recycling bin starts to get depleted, right? Because you have more and more and more miners coming onto the network, more and more sensors. So what's happening with these type four sensors is that they are reaching max oversaturation point where the rewards of the 23 planet tokens a day may start to drop over time. And pretty soon here, we might be only making 10 planet tokens or eight planet tokens a day. But here's why that may not actually matter, right? I think the price of planets is going to go up here in the near future. That is just me speculating, but with only $60 million market cap, hardly anyone really covering this topic, hardly any big popular YouTubers covering this project. I definitely see this going to $1 a day here once this Planet Watch system becomes a little bit more mainstream. So let's say if you go down to only mining eight tokens a day with the Type 4 sensor or 10 tokens a day instead of 23, but now all of a sudden, instead of 38 cents a token, we're at $1 a token, right? You're still making eight, $10, whatever, how many tokens you're mining a day. So there is definitely a little bit of a trade-off here, right? While the rewards will be most likely decreasing here over the next couple of months, probably over three to four months, we'll start to see the rewards decreasing. However, the recycle bin does actually get refilled in April, but we are yet to see how much or what's gonna happen with that yet. So I will keep you posted on that. Anyways, like I was saying though, it's kind of similar to the Helium network or any other mining as a matter of fact, Bitcoin mining, Ethereum mining, as time goes on, you're going to be mining less and less and less, but that is hopefully offset by the price of that underlying token actually increasing. So when it really comes down to it, you just gotta decide if you believe in this project long term, I see no problem why you wouldn't wanna get a type four sensor right now, because yeah, sure rewards will drop here over the next couple months, four or five months like I was saying, but if you believe in this project long term, you actually see the price of the token increasing, then it still makes more than enough sense to, to get this miner right now. And worst case scenario, your rewards are cut in half, but that all that does is you're already going to ROI in about a month and a half. So instead of a month and a half ROI, you're gonna be in the green in two and a half months, right? So you're still gonna make your money back plenty, plenty fast. It just really is up to you. Now, I would suggest though, you do definitely take a look at getting on a waiting list for those type three, type two, even type one sensors, because the recycling bins for those are still completely full as there are not that many of them out there. And for me personally, like I said, I have four more aware element type four sensors coming here within the next month. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping within the next month they show up, but I might actually end up selling two of those just because of the fact that I'm not even sure where I would even put two of them, but if I do end up selling them, I will be selling them for MSRP and I will sell them to the people in my Discord server. So make sure to click the link down in the description below, join the Discord group because once I get mine, I may decide to sell two of those and kind of just whoever responds first, I'll sell one to them and one to another person if I choose to sell them. But I'm not exactly sure, so definitely join the Discord to stay updated on that. But for me, my long-term play here is just to really keep stacking up these planet tokens. As soon as I have enough money in there to pull out my initial investment, my initial $300 per sensor that is, I'm going to pull that money back out off the table and go ahead and invest that into something else. That's just what I like to do with any cryptocurrency project I get into because they're all so freaking volatile. You never know what's going to happen. So I always like to make sure I pull my initial risk off the table. I'm completely risk-free. Then I let the rest ride until I decide it's time for me to cash out. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about this project and the different types of sensors that I go more in depth, make sure to check out my Aware Element video where I go a lot more in depth into the tokenomics and how all this other stuff works, how businesses would even buy, what that means for Planet Watch, and how the price could actually increase. Now, let's get into the good stuff, what you've been waiting for if you were part of the Block Create giveaway. All right, now let's go ahead and get to the good stuff here, what you've been waiting for if you were part of the Block Create 
giveaway for this block create miner. This is a first edition one here, guys. These first edition ones are the most powerful ones you could get, but they are no longer for sale. Well, at least not the first edition ones. So thank you everyone who entered in the giveaway. Now it is time to announce the winner. So the winner of this first edition block create miner is... French Penguin. Congratulations on winning this giveaway. I am so freaking pumped for you. I already did send you a DM on Discord, so hopefully you reply to that pretty soon here. Um, if you don't reply within 24 hours, I will be redrawing. So hopefully you see, either see this video, or you saw that I announced it in the Discord, or DM'd you, or I am going to be picking someone else. But congratulations to you, French Penguin. Super, super pumped for you. Thanks to everyone for joining this giveaway. This was super, super fun. Make sure to subscribe and join the Discord. I'll leave links in the description down below below. We've got a couple awesome giveaways planned for this new year, and you'll definitely hear about them first in the Discord server. And I probably will be doing a couple giveaways that only are happening inside the Discord server. So thanks for watching Hustle Nation. As always, I'll see you on the next one.